hello there cancer i love you welcome back to my channel this is your cancerian reading for the rest of the week it has been so beautiful the last reading that i did with these beautiful plain cards that sent their energy through to me was just saying that there's a decision that all cancerians are most cancerians you know there was a decision that was made and that decision put cancerians in their element of well-being of wellness of being like the highest vibration of themselves which was that king of hearts and it was so beautiful it was as if um cancerians were literally just sitting on their thrones and and the throne was represented by foundation um <clears throat> represented by foundation and that foundation may have come as a result of a decision that was that had to be made um that decision took focus practice um tapping into intuition knowing who we are knowing ourselves and we choose that road we chose that road um, to focus more, to choose. We had maybe two options. And I realized, I realized that Cancerians chose the option that was best for themselves. This was a cycle for Cancerians to literally choose a cycle that is beneficial for themselves instead of, you know, consistent, continually to playing a role that was someone else's life. So they were just trying to fit into someone else's life. Um, in the last reading, I realized that Cancerians man up. They took the bull by the reins. And, you know, they said, this is my life. I have to be in control of my life. I cannot just be living with the ebb and the flow of the ocean. Um, you know, with the tides of life. And just going with the tides of life. I have to find groundedness. And so Cancerians went into themselves, retracted back into that shell to find a place where may I feel like it is a, their heart space, where their heart has always been calling out to them and say, I am here, connect with me, connect with me. And so Cancerians decided to listen to their hearts, go back into themselves, trust some kind of internal wisdom that was coming through so strongly maybe you have heard it before and you just reject it because you wanted to continue living a life um being pleasing in other people's lives but that intuition that um guidance was coming so strongly because it's telling you you have a greater purpose once you find your groundedness and once you start focusing your intention on yourself for your benefit to see what your flourish will look like that is the, the ideal intention for you to have of yourself in this life so i think cancerns are literally um tuning into mother earth because cancerns are earth signs um water signs that are um connected to mother earth and so can you know they went inside to figure out what's going on and to connect with the planet so i realized that when cancerians are healing they are literally healing the planet as well when you begin to focus on who you are you are literally you know showing the planet because this is the mother where the mother sign where the leaders where the matriarchs of the planet you know we are guiding the planet to say this is what is right from what is not right so once we start to look into ourselves to find love, people around us begin to act in accordance with us. And the planet aligns with itself. Mother Earth finds its love for itself too, because we are the leaders. So grow, um, for those of you who have not yet grounded yourself and are still putting your focus on other people, on a relationship that's not serving you, on a job that's not serving you, there is a pull in you to turn that intense emotional connectivity that you have with a sensory 
as a sensory being of life inside of yourself to find your own guidance to find that alignment with you not to be focusing it outside but to be driven from within and that is how you attract everything to you from the outside right so do follow your heart cancerians you are the fourth host for a reason you are aligned with the heart chakra which is the fourth chakra system in the body so if you feel disconnected from your heart space you're confused you're frustrated you're not making decisions well right now connect with your heart space right when you go inside to see who you are all is revealed the answers the clarity that you wish um to come into you to guide you in your next decision um will come through well you are an intuitive being use the tools that god has given to us use the the natural tools that we have here um to partner and work with your intuitive guidance so you're going to be using the sunshine things that make you feel good partaking in life because you are earth itself mother and so mother sign right so go out connect with life connect with your divinity connect with the moonshine the stars connect with people um really use your intuition for yourself so you're gonna you know not curse yourself for things that went wrong but to you know cast good spells on yourself so instead of bashing yourself with your words no what you're learning to do is to speak goodness into yourself into your heart because you are the leader of your life cancer and so when you come out back from your shell you represent your in your highest state so what as i was saying if you are one of the cancers that's still battling a bit with decision making and with clarity lack of clarity walk barefooted on the earth um, connect with ferns i wanted to say plants but i'm going to say ferns because you know i have a great connection with ferns for me i was going through something personal a few years ago and i realized that i was not alone because the plants are alive and you have spirit plants just like you have spirit animals you have soulmates in your plants in the surroundings you have to find these and connect with them because they too want to be their higher selves and you have to see your higher self in these things to bring that even more out of you right so you're gonna connect wealth glorious abundance there's so much abundance coming into you you are still a, a bit hesitant about things that happened in the past but i see you now not really focusing on the things that were happening in the past you're you're not you're focusing on clarity and being stronger for yourself and actually realizing your mission on earth is greater than what you've ever even expected it to be your mission is not limited to you thinking of how to be better in a relationship your mission is to carry the world right i know many cancerians often feel like they are bottom feeders they are too emotional but it is that said same emotions that you've had, um, used to help you to be where you are today you're properly properly guided by your emotions so give thanks for them um you just need to know master become a master of your emotions master your intuition lean more on your guidance with yourself we have a lot of beautiful um we have two kings two queens two jacks on the board so concerns are definitely in their high power being guided actually led by love a lot of love uh, a lot of focus energy new beginnings um mastery also of the arts of the crafts of wisdom of the earth the laws of the universe working with your law of attraction methods your tools 
saying your affirmations, affirming who you are, knowing who you are truly and aligning with the world because you this literally is saying to me this this rule when you begin to speak who you are i am wealthy i am healthy i am well i have control over my emotions i trust my emotions i am in alignment with my emotions my emotions are in alignment with my higher self so once you begin speaking this positivity within you it is me it is emerging you it is literally emerging yourself it is like a spell to rise to for you to listen to rise up and what came to my mind was underworld when they were to rise up one of the master head of vampires right you sometimes they have to and they um literally use blood so when that blood touched the vampire he rose up as himself holy so it's almost like a ritual it sounds funny um but it's like you are everything that you want to be so you have to use your words of affirmation to bring it out of you so your words can hurt you and your words can flourish you so continue speaking positive words being positive in your environment and because you become who you are you emerge as your true rightful self knowing who you are accepting who you are being seen treated uplifted as who you are you attract what you are to you nothing less but what you are is attracted to you and it's coming it's all shifting well into place i am very 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 proud very proud <clears throat> we have for all four nines on a deck um down here i think this represents literally stepping into a higher ascension of self it's like you have been closing out certain cycles of hardship of you so it's like you're closing out certain cycles but ascending in other cycles as well and all of this is working in your benefit so even though this card for me represents strife and hardship it also represents foundation and stability groundedness so it's it, it's like a negative card but it's also positive so sometimes the hardships that we go through they are what causes us to be more grounded have more confidence be more stable set up more boundaries for ourselves I want to begin to build our boundaries because of whatever hardship then it crashes and it becomes something brand new what that newness is is a focus on universal presence other than what is small in your energy space not just your relationships your work life but no concerns are looking out more to what their true purpose in this life is what they are supposed to be doing here because it's almost as if the world is calling you out it's not just you casting your, your positive affirmations upon yourself but it's happening because the world is calling you to be to be who you are and to love who you are it is so it's like a summoning in a sense for concerns to look more inside and those damn it's are blessed whoa amazing i feel like i'm not using enough expressions to see you are backed all of like whoa there's so much beautiful things going on here i just want to say i'm proud of you keep strong keep doing what you're doing until your intuition says stop it you know sometimes the decisions are hard sometimes they're unorthodox and um we have to set the trend right sometimes that's how it is you're not gonna be boastful but you're not you're not doing it to impress anyone you're doing it for your to impress upon your own self to set a trend for yourself i am doing this there's something there's a force in me that is stronger than anything around me in my physical 3d reality that is saying this is what i need to be doing i'm going to be listening to that because i am aware that there are forces on this earth in this planet that are stronger than what is already manifested 
and something is calling me to what is not yet seen. Something is saying, look here. It's as if the sun is shining in a direction. It's as if that is where the rainbow is led. Um, so it's saying, come, let's go this way. Even the key, everything is look. You're not look. No one is looking, focusing on what is negative. They're all looking toward what is not yet seen. So you're a master creator of your time. Um, <clears throat> looking hopeful. Um, expecting, greeting, welcoming, graceful. There's just so much goodness here. So just I think that's what I have for you. Is there anything else? Cards that you'd like to see. Thank you so much for this spread. It's been beautiful. I got that. Anything else? These two. Don't know if these are. Whoops. I don't feel that one. Anyway, so I just want to say thank you. I hope this message means something to you and it resonates. Um, thank you so much for. Wow, this has been wanting to come out for so long. I w I was tempted to take it. But it flipped over back, you know, in the deck, so I had to let it stay. So I think that is literally the end of this reading. And the bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. So this is confirmation to be guided by your intuition. Um, so these are the last five cards, along with the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck saying yes you're being guided to use your intuition um, focus your intentions steadily on where you need to be create more flourish um, you are fertile you have a lot of luck with desires you have use your, int your intuition um creativity so you have all of that to focus on it's just saying that spirit is here with you whatever spirit is your creative spirit it's definitely here with you in this time guiding you to know that the root and the truth of who you are is a creative intuitive being that is guided so thank you so much for listening i wish you the all the best in the world may your dreams be realized by you may your fortune amount into your physical reality love acceptance may you go through your tower moments with pride and grace and whatever works best for you in this time all the best much guidance much love keep strong keep steady keep focused and determined and i love you always bye